My name's Steve Parker, and I'm a member of Essex Fire and Rescue Service and have been for over 30 years. Unfortunately, in my long career, I've been to many house fires where property has been damaged and unfortunately people have been injured and even killed due to smoking related um, fires. Uh, and did you know that smoking is actually the biggest cause of injuries and deaths in our homes? So the best way to, is to completely reduce the risk in your home is obviously to give up smoking, but we know that some people find that very difficult and it's very hard for them to do. So hopefully we're gonna give you some advice today that's gonna keep you safer. The first thing is to make sure that we are not smoking in bed. Now, a number of fires start every year because people fall asleep while they've got a cigarette on, um, and that obviously causes flammable materials within the bed, furniture, etc., to catch fire. So it's a complete no-no, so we'd rather you didn't smoke in bed. Um, if you've been under the influence of drugs or alcohol, so you've been drinking during the evening and you light a cigarette, again, you've got the, call, uh, the case that you could become unconscious or fall asleep. We want you to put your cigarettes out. We want you to put them right out. And the best place to put them in is a non-combustible heavy ashtray. So we can use a big proper designed ashtray. You'd be amazed at how many put their, people put their cigarettes out in combustible cups and, uh, and bowls, etc. Uh, when they don't go out completely, obviously uh, that can cause a fire. If you're smoking outside, make sure you dispose of your cigarette cor uh, correctly. Um, obviously through the summer months coming up, it's going to be the chance that that cigarette could go on and cause a major fire. If you're using healthcare equipment in your house, um, that could be airflow, pressure mattresses, uh, it could be paraffin based um, creams. Um, try it if you are a smoker to get your uh, NHS trust to be able to give you something which is not combustible, some creams which are not combustible, and perhaps use flame retardant bedding uh, or perhaps flame retardant um, nightwear would be a lot help, helpful as well. Some people who try and give up smoking uh, go on to, to use the vapes. Vapes need to be charged up, so we have some issues with charging with those. And we've got some on the market, some quite um, dangerous vaping, because uh, it's fake vaping equipment that's not under current regulations and that can cause fires in your home as well. If you want to give up smoking, uh, www.nhs.uk slash quit smoking is a great place to go. But probably the most important thing if you're a smoker is that you fit a smoke alarm on every level in your house. You need one on each level. So if you live in a flat or a bungalow, you just need one. If you go upstairs to bed, one upstairs and one downstairs. And then if anything does happen in your home regarding smoking, obviously you're going to get that early alert that a fire has taken place. So just to recap then, ideally giving up smoking is gonna be your best bet, not only for your health, but also for uh, the fire safety of your property. Uh, just remember, we're not smoking if we're going to bed, if we're under the influence of drugs or alcohol, uh, especially if we're using that dangerous uh, equipment um, or creams supplied, which are paraffin based.